in this lesson, we are going to subtract two mixed numbers. The mixed numbers we're going to subtract are two and three fourths minus one and one third. The first thing we need to check is that our largest mixed number or fraction is first because we know we subtract the larger number from the sm we subtract the smaller number excuse me from the larger number so our larger number has to be first two and three fourths also we check that our larger numerator is also first three is larger than one so now we can go ahead and subtract just like with addition we'll start with our whole numbers first we have two minus one two minus one is one now we have our whole numbers out of the way we need to look at our two fractions next four and three are our denominators since our first step is always looking to see if we have a common denominator we find that we do not have one so we need to find a common denominator for four and three our least common multiple for 4 and 3 is 12. So now, we need to make our fractions equivalent fractions to 3 fourths and 1 third with a common denominator of 12. What did we multiply by 4 to get to 12? multiply by 3. We need to do the same to our top number. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 twelfths is equivalent to 3 fourths. Let's look at our next fraction. What do we multiply by 3 to get to 12? We multiply 4 by 3. So we need to do, be a copycat, do the same thing to our top. 4 times 1 is 4. Now, since we have 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths, we can see that our denominators are the same, so it makes it very simple to subtract just our numerators. 9 minus 4 is 5, and our denominator stays the same. We now have to look back up to add our whole number 1 to 5 twelfths. So we add 1 plus 5 twelfths, and our answer is 1 and 5 twelfths. We check to see that this is written in simplest form and it is not an improper fraction. Our answer is written in simplest form, so 1 and 5 twelfths is our final answer.